I'm here on the backside with Scott Jordan, the starter at Churchill Downs. He is in charge of all the horses and all the action behind the gate. Now you had some of your crew today with you schooling the horses. We had the Oaks horses, Derby horses. How big is your crew? On Derby Day, it's right at 25 probably. So Oaks Day, we have we have extras, but not quite as many, just because it's a 14 horse field rather than a 20 horse field. But we always make sure we've got ample amount of help. And now, what would you say is the most important factor of schooling your horses in the gate? There's a lot of horses that run here, Oaks and Derby Day, that we've already seen that have run here before. But then there's also the horses that come from somewhere else that we need to get familiar with. Now, any type of challenges that you face leading up to big days like the Oaks and Derby? There's not a lot. you know. There is some in the morning schooling the horses. Um, Chad's horse was one that they had trouble getting in the gate at Keeneland for the bluegrass and but he brought him over we schooled him and I mean he's doing well so you know there is horses that you kind of are concerned about but they bring them to us and we get familiar with them so it helps myself and my crew um, you know I'm standing up there in front of them the guys have to do the work I'm only as good as those guys that work for me and and I feel like I got the best crew now on Derby Day, we have it's the largest field. What are some challenges you face with such a large field of horses? We're under a time frame as far as getting those 20 loaded because it's on NBC. I mean, it's one of those deals you just try to do everything. I don't worry about the time myself, but you know you try to do everything as fast and as orderly as we can because the shorter time that one and 10 are in there, you know, as they load, or the 1 and 11, I'm sorry, they, um, yeah, that's a long time for them to stand there and have to deal with stuff. So we just try to do everything as quick as we can so nothing happens. The shorter time they're in there, the less things that can go wrong. Now tell us a little bit more about the new gate because this is such a nice, um, inviting gate, and I did do a video earlier, and thank you for letting us join you this morning. But tell us a little bit more about the gate. I did inform some of the fans about the changes that we have, and but give us a little more insight. Well, the gates, it's a straight 20 gate. Now there is no space in between them because when we put the auxiliary gate on the other end of the 14 stall that we do use, you know, there was probably close to 15 foot of, of empty space in between the 14 horse and the 15 horse. So now everything's standing right in line. The gate itself, you know, it's, it's padded. It's, I mean, they did a really good job of, you know, making it and everything. And it is a little more inviting because the doors open at an angle. So it's kind of the funnel effect of them walking into the gate rather than just the doors being straight behind and a horse walking up and thinking, Boy, that's you know a little tight spot. So it, it actually, you know, makes it a little more inviting for them to walk in. Well, Scott, thank you so much for this information, and thank you for everything that you do here at Churchill Downs and these horses. Thank you.